campaign. Well, President Kufado uh, is also on the campaign trail here in the capital and it's day two of his tour. On Tuesday, he met traders and drivers at Kanishi and he's been assuring them of uh, government support for businesses badly hit by COVID-19. Oh, years ago, me by Bijaka Chemu. Tell <laughs> our presidential correspondent Elton Brobe reports the president is currently in Dansuman. Uh, let's join him for an update. Hello. Uh, hi, Elton. Uh, too bad we lost Elton there. But we are told that the president also campaigned quite late into the night on Tuesday, ending uh, his tour of some parts of the Greater Accra region at 12 midnight. And so uh, we'll be getting more updates from the NPP's campaign trail when presidential correspondent Elton Brobe joins us. Well, we've been able to raise Elting on the phone lines. Hello, Elting. Uh, at 12 midnight, the president was still on the ground. He's up this morning. Tell us what's happening in Dansuma. So currently, we are at the Abdusuma West, 20 years in the Greater region. Currently, the Dansuma is one of where the party is coming, the first member of parliament in this area, the reader, and it is who died 10 years ago. She was the first member of parliament for this area. Third, Women organizer of the MPP today. The party has decided to honor her memory with foundation and a certificate right here and in the front right about the central country is now, you know, covered with the flag uh, of the country. Uh, this is the first of the first uh, second day for of the Great Account region. Today's program, according to the uh, article that we're given this morning, it has to do with a church service to one of the And the whole thing has turned into uh, a mini rally where the number of parliament for this area is leading uh, hundreds of people uh, to come and listen to the president. The crux of this is that the party says that they, 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 they find it fit to honor the memory of the first MP for this area. That's how they have organized this particular gathering. Mm. But the campaign message has always been the same that the people should go out. And vote for the NPP and the parliamentary candidate for this area. The Greater Akan Regional Minister, Ishmael Asuke, mentioned a while ago that the NPP is looking to increase its parliamentary team in the Greater Akan Region from the current 21 to 30. Many they are targeting to win uh, 30 parliamentary seats in the Greater Akan Region. The region has only 30 40. That means the party is looking to win 30 and then around the end, the NPP is the rest of the four. A very difficult task to be out him, but they say that looking at what they've achieved to come so far, the future has to to become a main political thing for the NPC. They're planning for food and jobs. And the many social intervention programs that are going to the present have been fulfilled. It is just right for the people to return the NDC to power to continue the development of the nation. But then, four more years to see the country move from where, where it is now to a more prosperous place. Mm. So, this is just the first stop. We have the on the face face of the Pukwa country, so of the uh, uh, Taipa and the Zambara, to end with a special meeting with religious leaders at the face face center, where President Kupan is going to assure them of the commitment to ensure peace, uh, you know, and it's a free lesson uh, on December 10th. 
Thank you very much.